Welcome to today's episode of Edificent EdTech Tips and Tricks. So today I'm going to be talking about Flipgrid and how you can use it. So Flipgrid is a video platform where students and teachers can interact in a classroom-like setting without having to be in the classroom. Teachers will discuss and talk about topics using videos in Flipgrid. The students can interact with them. So what you do is you'd create a group, select a cover to match with your group when you get into Flipgrid. And basically your group is going to be like your classroom. And I'm just going through all the pictures. I think I like the surfer guy right here. So I'm picking him up. Oh, you know what? This looks more like Edificent EdTech, so kind of techy. All right, so I'm going to name it Edificent. And I'm going to create a group. But before I do that, I need to add a student email. See, I didn't add a student email. So I'm going to go ahead and add a student email in there. I'm going to add Corey because, you know, he's my student today. And then I'm going to create group. So there you go. That's how you quickly create a group. So we're going to have a little bit of fun with this today. When you create a group, you can instantly share your group code with those people, or you can invite other people outside of the group to join as well, um, as long as they have a login. So they can also join. So here is the beginning of my group. And everybody needs to respond by saying, hello, this is who I am. It automatically gives you that. I didn't set that up. Okay, so basically now I have my Flipgrid group created and I'm going to go back in and I want to pick a topic. Now, I already put a topic called, do you sing in the shower? And then the prior one that was, hello, I am, where they have to introduce themselves. Let's say I just want to look up another topic. So you can go to discovery. You can basically click on all of these topics for me, check number one. Basically, it's just coming up with a list of things that they might think that you want to use. Um, and then you can use these keywords searches to find more specific um, topics that you could use. Now, I went to wonder of the day because I really want to know what's popular, what people are really using. And I like some of these. So what I did was I went through this and I picked do you sing in the shower? And there's other ones that you can also pick as well. Like what is Superman's secret identity? That's going to be an interesting one. So I'm going to click on it and I'll add click on add topic. What it's going to do is ask me if I want to add it as an individual topic to just one specific person or if I wanted to add it to a group. So I'm going to click group. So I've already got my one classroom and I'm going to click next. Then I'm going to go to my topics, which does not take me directly to the groups. It just takes me to all of the topics that I've looked at. Now, I looked at this earlier. I really liked it. So, and I didn't add it to my group. So I'm going to add it to my group. And then I have added a healthy list of topics. You can do this as well. So all you have need to do is click on this for groups and then it shows my group again. And now I've got all the topics that I want to ask my group. Since I'm going to do this, what I can do is either A, have my students who have already added into this group log into their Flipgrid, assuming that they have a Flipgrid account that we've had them sign up with, or I can simply share this with them, which is the topic. I would copy it and I can either email it or send it throughout our LMS, whatever, however you communicate with your students and you can send them that link and they can respond with a video. Accessing the Flipgrid can be done via the code, the link, or the QR code that the teacher sends. Let's go ahead and put in the code and we'll be brought to the page where we can submit our response. Here you can see a video that the teacher has given us, which we can watch before we respond ourselves. Once the video is complete, go ahead and click add response at the bottom to be brought to the response page. We're now on the response page, and here we have quite a few options. Go ahead and click on options where we can just use our mic, we can actually mute ourselves, and we can add notes to our video. The effects button does a whole lot more, including filters of all different types, stickers, text, whiteboard, GIFs, photos, you name it. There's a lot of different options here that we can add to our video to add a little bit more pizzazz to our response. Once we've added our effects, we're ready to record. Go ahead and click the record button, but maybe you click it too fast and, or you mess up. Simply click on retake down in the bottom left-hand corner 
and you can restart your video response. You can now see that I'm recording my video to the teacher. Once this is done, all we have to do is click on Next to go to the Submit page. On the Submit page, we can first review it where we can change the video a little bit by mirroring the image or rotating the image or even splitting it. When we're happy with the video, we click on Next. Finally, the Submit page. Add your display name and any other information, including a link or optional description to your video, and then click on Submit. Now your teacher will receive the video and other students can view it as well. Okay, so now we are back to the teacher's dashboard and I'm gonna to go to my group and I see a response from Corey here. So what I'm gonna do is click on Corey. You could also see other students listed here if you had other students in the group. It would show you in list form. And I'm gonna click on Corey's name and it will take me to Corey's video. So I, as the teacher, can yeah. review Corey's video. Now, I can also do a bunch of other things. I can look at stuff down here. I can give him feedback. This is the most important part of this, is giving them feedback. Now, I can record video feedback, or I can text feedback. Now, you have the option of giving a private feedback to the student if you don't want other students to see your feedback, or you can give a public piece of advice to your student so that other students can see, also see as examples of what maybe they should or shouldn't do, or how they maybe they could respond or respond differently. Now, you can either copy the feedback link to send them the feedback that you said that you commented, or you can you can just email it to them by clicking on either of these buttons. So Corey, what was your response to, do you sing in the shower? You know, I've never been one for singing in the shower. I've never been one for singing at all. My voice doesn't sound good outside of the bathroom. And even with the physics of it all, I doubt it would sound very good inside. Where I need to comment on Corey's video and I'm going to send him some feedback saying that he needs to practice his shower singing more so he can sing in the shower and I'm going to click on email feedback and that will send directly to his email. Now I can also copy the feedback link like I had mentioned before where I can copy and then paste it pretty much anywhere of my choice. Thanks for watching my video today and if you really like our videos and you want to support our channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button.